Praise the Lord, friends. Praise the Lord, my friend, my viewer. I thank God for you this Saturday. And as we usher in this weekend, I would like us to start with a word of devotion as we devote ourselves, as we devote the rest of the day, even as we invite God to be part of all we do. Let us start with a word of prayer. Lord, we bless you. We bless you, Jesus. This morning and this weekend, Lord, we release ourselves to you. We wholly desire to live for you, O God. We desire to have you, Father Lord, walk with us. Your presence to be with us throughout this weekend. Lord, may you bless us together. This we pray as we start our devotion in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Yes, we've been uh, winding up on the topic of Thanksgiving. And uh, on uh, Thursday, we were saying that uh, Thanksgiving is a reminder for us who believe in God that every good thing that we have comes from God. God is the source of all good things that we have. Then on uh, Friday yesterday, we were saying that Thanksgiving, in essence, is the sharing what we have, sharing what we have the blessings and the gifts that God has gifted us with, with those people around us, those people whom need our help, those people who we are with. We need to share the blessings, the gifts, because as we do this, we are in essence thanking God. Because we are saying yesterday, uh, Psalm 24 and verses 1, that every other thing that is created, was everything else was created by God and uh, is of God. And so even the people therein are of God. And so when we share what we have with God's people, because God did not even hold his son, he gifted them with his son, who even died for us. And so who are we to hold whatever blessings we have received, which are also not ours with the people of God? And so we were realizing that as we are doing this, as a believer, any time that you are sharing the abundance that God has given you with people around you, then in essence, you are giving thanks to God. That is what we were saying yesterday. And so today, friends, as we wind up on this very topic of thanksgiving, giving thanks means thanking God with a joyful and joyful heart. Giving thanks has to do with thanking God with a joyful full heart with a joyful heart. I think in at, at one time in our spiritual life, we have ever used this quote that uh, God loves a cheerful giver. We have used that phrase, we have used that quote several times in our lives. And uh, not only using it, but another problem that we have is that we normally use it but we just pick on that. But we do actually we do not normally uh, share this quote in totality, in, and what what it has, it 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 holds for us. And so, in Second uh, Corinthians, Second Corinthians chapter nine is where we find this quote in verses seven. And uh, in it, uh, in uh, entirely, this is how it goes. In verse 7, each one must do as he has made up his mind, not reluctantly or under compulsion. Now that is when the, the word comes. For God loves a cheerful giver. You see, when we fail to quote the original, well, I mean, uh, verse as it is, then we fail to, I mean, when we lose out on something here. Because thanksgiving means thanking God with a, with a joyous or a joyful heart. That is what Paul is saying in this text. You know, we too, not only the church in, in Corinth, but actually when we are going before the Lord to thank him, each one of us must do as he has made up. When we are going before the Lord to thank God, we must have made up our mind. We must not be going to thank God out of compulsion, you know. You know, 
we, we mustn't go before the Lord to, to, to thank him out, out of being compelled to do that, you know. We have to make up our mind, just like the Corinthians church, and so Christians are called upon that when we are going before the Lord to offer thanks, we must have made up in our mind how we want to do this, how we want to offer, and we have to do it with joyful, joyful heart. Now joy comes later because we have to make up our minds fast, not out of being compelled. Offering thanks to God out of bitterness or conceit, then that means we are not thanking God. We thank God out of sheer joy of having received the abundance that God gives. Because God is an abundant giver. He offers abundantly. He even offers abundant life to us. So he is known as him who offers abundantly. And that is why he's calling us to give joyously or with joyful hearts. You know, somebody who does not withhold anything for us, any promise that he has for you, he is willing to give and to give it in full, not in piecemeal. So when you appear before such a person to give him thanks for what you have already received, the abundance you have received in him, you know, that calls you to think, I mean, to, to actually ignite some joy from deep down your heart will bubble with joy as you release uh, your joy to him. And, and that is what Paul is saying in this text, that each one of us must have a made-up mind and we mustn't relax or, relax or we mustn't operate in compulsion. Because something about God is that he loves when we cheerfully give. Because he also gives the gift of his son. He gave his son. And because he loved us, and so our response to him as we offer thanks must also be crowned by having made up mind and not only making up our minds, but also cheerfully standing before him as we, with joy as we give, as we give to him. John chapter 10, verses 10, is one text that will really support what we are talking about. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have, I mean, I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. That is Jesus. Him, there is life in abundance that he came for to give us. And uh, those who have received the abundance of life that Jesus gives, those will uh, go before him in thanksgiving with made up mind, not compelled whatsoever. This will go before him with joyous mind. We'll have minds that are planned and are driven with joy. We are saying that with joyful hearts they will appear before the Lord because the abundance that is with their God is correctly known to them. What we need is simply to open our eyes. Brethren, my brother, my sister, if we only open our eyes, our hearts, to hear the invitation that is here of receiving life in abundance, then we will get to know how cheerful we need to, to appear before the Lord as we respond in thanksgiving to the abundance that he has given us to, to, to enjoy in this life, to enjoy even in life to come. The abundance that God has bestowed upon us, the promises that is yet to release should cause us to go before him and offer thanksgiving to him. What we need is simply to open up our spiritual eye, our heart to that invitation. When we have accepted God's gracious offer of uh, eternal life, then we will get to know, we'll get to know that yes, we need to cheerfully appear before him as we offer thanks. We, uh, we actually then will get to know the joy that comes with, with deep within that bubbles with the thanksgiving that we will really know how much more than we need to offer thanksgiving with joyous with joy heart joyous heart because in our hearts are bubbling uh, the abundance the knowledge of abundance that is with our God so we need to give thanks with joyful hearts not only now but always 
whenever called upon, whenever you feel, I mean, whenever you, there's a drive within you to express your thanksgiving to God, then we must always do it with joyful hearts. Let us not go before the Lord to offer thanks with the hearts that uh, are compelled to do that, that are like forced to do that. Most of the time we get to heed to calls to offer thanksgiving because we are seeing the glory in other people and so we feel compelled also to do the same. But I think if we get to understand the abundance of life that is with Jesus Christ, that he promises to us who believe in him, then the, the abundance that we have already received from him as those who believe and know that every good thing comes from him, then I want to believe that with joy, joyful hearts we will appear before, before him as we offer him thanksgiving. Giving thanks means thanking God with our joy, with, with a joy, joyful heart. Giving thanks when we go there with hearts that are not joyous, with the hearts that are a bit compelled, with the hearts that are bitter and have that are that are conceit, you know, such hearts are not hearts of I mean does not guarantee and qualify thanksgiving. Thanksgiving becomes thanksgiving when we approach it with hearts that are full of joy, with hearts that are full of joy, because there is an abundance that God has given us, and He says that He loves a cheerful giver but a cheerful giver in this sense that we have first and foremost we have to plan within our hearts and so paul writes to to us in second corinthians in chapter 9 we've read and verses 7 he says that each one must do as he had made up his mind as he had made up in his mind or her mind not reluctantly or under compulsion so paul writes and he says that god for him, whoever he loves are cheerful givers. Whoever comes before him and cheerfully gives to him. Whoever offers one with the others, we were saying yesterday, that also when we offer the blessings and the gifts we have with those around us, then we are also thanking God. If we cheerfully give, then God, we become, I mean, uh, we are uh, in uh, ex by extension, we become loved by God because he loves those who give cheerfully. So friends, not with conceit, not with uh, bitterness, not compelled, or not out of reluctance or, or spirit that we give, but it is out of uh, joyful hearts we are called upon to give thanks. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you. And we bless you, Lord. This topic is enormous, it's deep, that, Lord, thanksgiving can never be thanksgiving if it is not coming, overflowing from, from deep down our hearts with bubbles of joy, joyful uh, hearts that are brought to you, hearts that have correctly planned and organized how to appear before you, but not just coming before you with, uh, with bitterness and conceit and all those negative us, but hearts that are full of joy, that would like to share the joy that of knowledge of abundance that we have realized in you. Jesus calls us always to stand before you, people full of joy in our hearts as we give you thanks. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.